Quick background. Uh, I wrote this poem because I have two younger sisters, and unfortunately in the society that I'm growing up in, because I'm still growing up, I'm not that old. Mm -hmm. Sadly enough, <coughs> there's a lot of rules and a lot of things that society wants us to be, and I don't believe in a lot of that. And I never want my baby sisters to think that because they don't feel right about who they are, that somebody else is gonna tell them that that's who they are, that who they want them to be is who they are. And I never want them to think that sex in any form, be it protected or unprotected, is the answer for love or for them to feel loved. So I wrote this kind of for them, but also for my generation, for kids my age or people my age. So. Hey ladies, I need to tell you something, come closer. Can you hear me? Are you ready? I think you're pretty. There, I said it. You are all pretty, more like beautiful. Let's try gorgeous. I can't seem to find the right words to describe you, so I will go with perfect. You, my lovely ladies, are perfect in every way. I know the words are hard to believe what with Mr. Media's perception on the definition of what we are all supposed to be starting in high school from the rest of our lives. I know the lines are blurred, so let me clear them for you. Ladies, look at what we have become. We are shadows of that bad bitch persona. We have grown so accustomed to the word that it stopped being an insult. We have traded the definition of degraded with the meaning of promotion, become rivals in who can show more skin than who can get better grades, that our lives spiral into oblivion of a bad decision. That night when you became a statistic, when he forgets to tell you that cooties are sexually transmitted diseases in disguise, when you lack, when your lack of self-love gets the better of you, gentlemen, you don't have to be Superman. You're not indestructible, nor are you immune to the high school uh, status quo, but you are handsome. Better yet, remarkable. How about outstanding? There are no shortage of words I could use to describe you, so I will sum it up with perfect. You are perfect. Boys, what have you become? Trying to be men in a world plagued by disrespect, and a high school that teaches nothing different. When grab ass is the new pickup game in the park, and where thinking with the wrong head is socially acceptable. Where did you get twisted? When did you get addicted to self-doubt? Getting high on the love that we think we that you they didn't think you would need to protect themselves from going through the withdrawal of the aftermath that you didn't prepare yourself for. Ladies and gentlemen, this stopped being a game if this is what we are becoming. When did standards get so, high, get so low that you started mistaking them for skyscrapers? When did we forget that, this is to that it is totally acceptable to just say no? It's clear now, is it? Why ruin your perfect self for someone who doesn't understand their own? Why put yourself at risk? Protection is not a form of weakness, just the greatest form of strength. Don't let anyone cloud you. Love yourself enough to protect yourself. Love cautiously, love carefully, love fully. But remember, you're perfect. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Amen.